In this video, we're going to learn how to create multi-line statements using Python. So in Python, we separate statements or lines using a new line character. So for example, we could have Joe grade is equal to 90 and Najib grade is equal to 95 and Mary grade is equal to 98. So here we have three statements that are separated using new line characters. What if we have a very long statement? So for example, what if we have some grades is equal to Joe grade plus Najib grade? Then when we go to add Mary grade, we'll have plus Mary grade. And while this is legal Python code, we'll say that we don't like this for style reasons because it goes past the width of our text editor. What we could try to do is put a new line here using enter. But now if we save the program and try it out here, we'll get an error. And that's because this new line here implies that we're starting a new statement but instead, what we're trying to do is continue an existing statement. What we could do though, is use the line continuation character in Python backslash. So here, if we have backslash, and now we save the program and try it out, it's going to work. So this backslash character here, when used at the end of an existing statement, allows us to continue that statement on the next line. Now, what we could do here is also space over Mary grade to make it look better. Again, if we save this and try it out, it's going to work. In the official Python documentation, they refer to each of these as physical lines, whereas all this together is considered one logical line. Now, one thing I will note is that we can't have any character whatsoever after this backslash here. So for example, if we have even one space character here and we save it and try it out, now it's not going to work again. We get here unexpected character after line continuation character. Now, when we use the backslash character like this, it's called explicit line joining. We also have what's called implicit line joining when we use parentheses, square brackets, or curly braces. So for example, we could also split this statement across multiple lines if we wrap this expression in parentheses. So here we'll have an open and a close parentheses. And if we save the program and try it out, this will also work. So expressions in parentheses, square brackets, or curly braces can be split over more than one physical line without using backslashes. So for example, we could create a list using square brackets over multiple lines. We could have numbers is equal to and open square bracket four, five, and six, and then close square bracket. We could also have a dictionary created over multiple lines using curly braces. So we could have student is equal to, and then we'll have the key name is set to John, and we'll have the key age is set to 19. And these are both valid. We can save the program and try it out. And this will also work. And I should note that we can split a string across multiple lines by using the backslash character. So for example, we could have here text one is equal to, and we'll have a string and then backslash across multiple lines. And this is valid. We could output here text one, and this is going to work. We'll save this and try it out. And we'll get here a string across multiple lines. Now with this technique here, the new line character is not included in the string. If we actually do want new line characters to be included in the string, we could use what's called a triple quote string or a doc string in Python. So for example, we could have here three double quotes. And then here we'll have three double quotes. And now if we save this and try it out, we still have a string defined across multiple lines, but now the new line character is still in the string. So this is how we can use multi-line statements in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.